We could imagine fueling a molten salt reactor with low enriched uranium. If we do that, the uranium mining and enrichment necessary will be comparable to what we do today in light water reactors. That path was weaponized and it continues to be a concern. Option two, we could imagine fast spectrum molten salt reactors. We would not need any more uranium mining or enrichment, but we're going to have a high inventory. Fuel looks small to a fast neutron. And there are chemical separation issues with fast spectrum uh, molten salt reactors that are going to be challenging. It's harder to get plutonium and uranium away from one another in fluoride than it is to get thorium and uranium away from one another. And finally, option three, which is obviously the option I favor, which is the thorium-fueled thermal spectrum molten salt reactor. No uranium or mining or enrichment are going to be necessary once we're in steady state. And this option will have the lowest of all of the fissile inventories. And that fissile inventory won't be plutonium. It will be uranium-233. That third path was not weaponized because of the unavoidable contamination of uranium-232, which was realized by Glenn Seaborg in 1944.